In this video, we're going to learn about molarity, molality, and percent solution. First, we're going to learn the definition uh, and the equations for each of them, and then we're going to use those equations to calculate the concentration of a solution. Now, these are all different ways of expressing the concentration of a solution. Uh, when we're talking concentration, we mean the amount of solute that's dissolved in a certain amount of solvent. So, for example, if you were to take a glass of water and make a solution uh, by adding salt to it, the water would be the solvent and the salt would be the solute, and together they would make the solution. So these different words are all different ways of expressing the concentration. In other words, how much solute did we put in there? Now here's what they mean. First of all, molarity, and we use capital M to symbolize molarity. This is the moles of solute per liter of solution. And so we can also turn that into an equation to say molarity, capital M, is equal to the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. Next is molality, and these ones often get confused because the names are so similar. We use a lowercase m and usually ita uh, italicize that. And this is going to be the moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. And as an equation, we'd have moles of solute on top, just like molarity but we'll change the bottom to be kilogram of solvent. Notice it's not the kilogram of the solution. For molarity, we're talking the whole solution. That would be the solute and the solvent together, whereas molality, we're just concerned with how much the solvent weighs. And then finally, we have percent solution, and this is going to be the mass or the volume of the solute per mass or volume of the solution. And so this is how we calculate that. Percent solution would be the mass of the solute over the mass of the solution. If we're dealing with liquids, instead of mass, we would just use volume. And then since this is going to be a percent, we would just multiply by 100 uh, to turn it into a percentage. So let's try using these equations to solve a problem. So here's the problem we're going to solve. It says 3 grams of ethanol is dissolved in 150 grams of water to create a solution with a volume of 153 milliliters. What is the molarity, molality, and mass percent of the solution? When it says mass percent, that's just another way of saying percent solution. It's just telling us that we're going to use mass rather than volume so we know which of these two equations to use. So let's start with molarity, that's this one right here. We're going to need the moles of solute, in that case it's ethanol, ethanol is being dissolved into water, so water is the solvent, and we're going to need the liters of solution. So the bottom part is going to be the easy part. The liters of solution is given to us in the problem. Uh, it says that when we dissolve these two things together, it's going to create a solution with a volume of 153 milliliters. Now, it's in milliliters. When you want to convert from milliliters to liters, you divide this by 1,000. And so we're going to end up with 0 0.153 liters. Now, the moles of solute's a bit tougher. We're given the mass of ethanol. That's right here. And this is what ethanol looks like. That's the formula. Now, we're going to need moles of solute for molarity and molality. So we'll find this, and then we can use it in both situations. What we're going to do is we're going to take that 3 grams of ethanol, and we need to divide that by the molar mass of ethanol. So we need to look at a periodic table and add up all of this stuff right here. So... Up here we have six hydrogens, there's five and one. So we're going to find the mass of hydrogen, add it to two carbons and one oxygen. So here's hydrogen, each of those weighs one, so one times six, plus the two carbons. They each weigh 12, so that's two times 12, plus oxygen, which weighs 16. We'll add all of that up and divide the mass by 46 grams per mole and we find that 3 grams of ethanol is going to be 0 0.0652 moles of ethanol so there's our moles of solute and I've plugged that in right up here now I can just take this number divided by the liters of solution 
and I end up with 0.426 molar, and we use the capital M as the symbol for molarity. Let's go ahead and solve for molality now. For molality, we have already found the moles of solute. That's this right here. So we can go ahead and plug that in on the top. And then we also need the kilograms of solvent. Now, water is the solvent because we took ethanol and dissolved it into water. And we're given the mass of the water. And what we want to do is convert that into kilograms. And so to do that, we're just going to take this number and divide by 1,000. And so we'll end up with 0 0.150 kilograms. We can plug that into our calculator. And we're going to end up with a molality of 0 0.435 molal. And so there is our molality. Finally, we'll do the mass percent uh, of this solution, or percent solution. So we're going to need the mass of the solute and then the mass of the entire solution. The mass of the solute is given to us right at the beginning of the problem. That's three grams of ethanol. And then we're going to find the mass of the solution by adding the 3 grams of ethanol to the 150 grams of water and we'll end up with 153 grams for the solution and then we'll multiply that by 100 and we get a percent solution of 1.96 percent ethanol and so there is molarity, molality and percent solution